Yusra, a very warm welcome to Inspire Middle East. Thank you so much. Can I start by asking you, what's your key takeaway from the festival this year? My dear, last year was the first year and it went viral. It went all over the world now, and everybody's talking about Guna. As a consultant here at Al Guna, and having been on the jury at many regional film festivals, what are you looking for in terms of new talent? New talents are really, yeah, yeah I want to say it was, uh, it was amazing to find new talents here and elsewhere. But this year, you can find the whole cinemas are totally, totally fully booked. The sessions are fully booked. Uh, talking about it, so there are young people who really want to know what is real cinema and they want to learn and they want to understand and they want to, they are passionate about cinema. Now you're passionate about encouraging more Arab script writers to come to the fore. Why aren't we seeing more of them? What do we need to overcome to make that happen? It's not easy now to make a production, you know, it's with a high standard. And although we do it, but we don't make films as before. Before we used to make per year 120 films. Now it's about 20 films. Is that because of funding? It's funding, it's everything, it's getting, you know, very high as, as prices and uh, it's not easy and you need to, as a producer, you need to really be very sure that you'll bring your money back. Yes. You, you just can't throw your money away. You, you know a return I mean? on your you, you need a return, you need a success, you need to continue. You're famed for embracing seemingly taboo topics in this region, from social unrest to corruption, and this has prompted a backlash from some conservatives. How do you deal with that? What's been the coping mechanism? Darling, I'm not on social media at all, but I know. And social media has become really um, against humanity, not with humanity, not to know some uh, uh, informations you need to know about the world. It has become yani, an obsession to other people to know what you're doing. And if they like it, they will put you over the moon. And if they don't, they will kill you. So this is, this is something I cannot deal with. You know what I mean? I worked hard, I love my work, I respect everybody. I, as much as I respect others, they must respect my point of view too. So I don't believe that this stopped me. On the contrary, it just made me feel okay and I continued what I believe. Picking up on social media, how do you view it as a platform for new filmmakers? Because for many it's a good place for That's them to That's a start. very good thing for them. I mean, they can do it with, the, with no money. They simply can go and take their cameras and they work all over the place and they make their films and they can show it to the whole world. But is it enough? Because there are some things happening now that people are famous through social media without really making an effort. And this is very, for me, it's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Now, we saw you last year at the Alguna Film Festival sing for the first time in 10 years and you've sung again this year. Yes. Does this mean that we have new material coming soon from you? Honestly, I wish. I don't know. <laughs> because if you know the story of uh, Talat Da'at, hmm? everything came so spontaneous. No calculations. Nothing of that sort. Wow, so completely organic. Totally. I just simply fell in love with that song and it just went into my heart and it revived a lot of beautiful feelings because it's for everybody. Exactly, it's an anthem, it's fantastic. Yes. Can I ask you, how do you believe Arab cinema has the potential to change, the power to influence? No, Arab, Egyptian cinema is very influential. Arabic cinema, no, because I believe that Egyptian cinema is the mother of the Arab cinema. So it is now 110 years old. So when you have this and when you, when you really were the main reason to, to get in touch and to influence the whole Arab world. I think this is the most important um, weapon in the world. 
and this is the most soft weapon in the world. So when you have it, you have the power of uh, being influential for others. Yusra, why aren't we seeing more Arabic films dubbed or translated into English and French to allow them to reach a broader audience? I would love, it's one of my dreams, I have to tell you. And uh, I made a co-production, more than six or seven films, through Shaheen. And, uh, and it was dubbed and it was uh, uh, sometimes dubbed in English, sometimes dubbed in French. But, and it was extremely successful. I wish we can do this through all our films because I would like very much, through films you learn about others, you know about others, about other countries, about other people, about the, the way they think. And I wish there would be, um, how would you say, a souk for that. Yeah. Because you can do it and you don't have the souk, the marketing for it. And lastly, let me ask you, what's the one piece of advice you would give yourself or the one thing you'd tell your younger self when you were starting out? What do you know now that first you thing, wish you had? First thing I learned in this career, first lesson, don't be arrogant. Be you. Believe in what you do and love what you do. Because when you love it and you believe it, and be patient, not I shouldn't make one film and tomorrow morning I'm the uh, on top of the whole world. No, you have to go through good and bad to understand, to learn. And that's, I think that's how I made it. It's a powerful lesson. Thank you so much for speaking to me today. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much.